Here are some dots. If we join the dots, we will see one of the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. I wonder which engine that is. Let's join the dots and find out. Here we go. There's a large tender, the cab, and there's the dome. This is a very big engine. It's got a very small funnel. Can you tell who it is yet? Around the buffers and the wheels. It's got lots of wheels. Do you know who it is? That's right. It's Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Toby has a busy day today. He has to pick up some workmen. Then he must take them to their job in the forest. The workmen are waiting at the station. Which track should Toby take to get there? The track that goes under the bridge or the track that goes over the bridge? Are you sure, Toby? I don't think that track will get you to the station. That's right. Toby goes over the bridge to get to the station. Toby has collected the workmen. Now he must take them to the forest. Which track should Toby take to get there? The track that goes over the bridge or the track that goes under the bridge? That's right, Toby. You go under the bridge to get to the forest. Toby has collected the workmen and taken them to the forest. Toby's a really useful engine. The island of Sodor is home to lots of Thomas's friends. Friends on the rails, friends on the roads, and even some friends in the air. They are all very different, and each very special. And they are all Thomas's friends. Gordon is Thomas's strong friend. Thomas knows that Gordon likes to boast he is the fastest and the best. Thomas also knows that Gordon is never too proud to help his friends. One day, Sir Topham Hatt told Gordon he could set a new record for pulling the express fastest across the island of Sodor. Gordon was very excited. It would be grand to set a new record. At the coaling plant, Gordon took all of Henry's special coal. He wanted to set a new record, and he didn't want to wait for his own coal. When Henry puffed in, all his special coal had gone. Henry had to take ordinary coal. Gordon clickety-clacked along the tracks. He was sure he was going to set a new record. Then Gordon saw Henry. The ordinary coal had made Henry sick. Henry's face was green. His axles were shaking. His dark smoke made his eyes water. Gordon knew it was all his fault. He didn't want to set a new record anymore. He wanted to help his friend Henry. So Henry gave Gordon his coal, and Gordon gave Henry his special coal. Henry quickly felt better. And that mattered more to Gordon than setting a new record. Thomas was very proud of his strong friend Gordon. One day, Thomas helped Gordon when Gordon wasn't feeling so strong. There was something wrong with Gordon. His firebox whistled and wheezed. It kept all the other engines awake. 
Percy thought it was very funny. Even Thomas chuckled. Gordon didn't think it was funny at all. He was so worried about his whistle and wheels that he bumped into a jelly wagon. Gordon was covered in sticky goo from footplate to fender. The other engines laughed. Gordon had to go to the yard to be cleaned straight away. But later, at Tidmouth Sheds, the engines missed Gordon. Thomas felt sorry for him. He told the other engines not to laugh at Gordon anymore. It would make Gordon feel bad. Gordon was their friend, and he was a really useful engine. So when Gordon came back to Tidmouth, Thomas and the other engines cheered. That made Gordon feel very happy. Thomas likes his big, strong friend, Gordon. No engine is too big to be a friend of Thomas's. Henry has to go to two places, the castle and the lake. There are two tracks, an up track and a down track. First, he must go to the castle. Which track should Henry take? The one that goes up or the one that goes down? Henry's taking the down track. Is that right? No. The down track will take Henry to the lake. Which track should he take? That's right. Henry must take the up track to get to the castle. Now, Henry must go to the lake. Which track should Henry take to get there? The up track or the down track? That's right. Henry must take the down track to get to the lake. Well done, Henry. Emily is ready to leave the station. She is tingling with excitement. What's Emily pulling today? Emily is chuffing out of the station pulling buckets and spades. Emily chuffs out of the station pulling buckets and spades and a big beach ball. Now Emily chuffs out of the station pulling buckets and spades, a beach ball, and a stripy sun umbrella. Can you remember what Emily is pulling today? Emily chuffs out of the station pulling buckets and spades, a big beach ball, and a stripy sun umbrella. Can you guess where Emily is going? Emily is puffing to the seaside. Have fun, Emily! Thank <laughs> you.